Okay, in this video, you're going to see an example of computing a ratio. And if you recall, a ratio is really just uh, used to compare the events that happen between two groups. So we can compare the events for group X to the events for group Y. And we'll figure out whether or not those events are more likely to occur for group X or more likely to occur for group Y. Uh, and one way that we can do that is to compare the frequencies. So we could take the frequency of an event for group X and divide it by the frequency of an event for group Y and come up with a ratio. And that would be one way to do that. Um, but as we have seen earlier, that these frequencies can't directly be compared if group X is a different size from group Y. So if group X is larger or smaller than group Y, we can't compare the frequencies directly. So what happens more often then is you'll see a ratio created using a rate. And so we'll take the rate for group X and we'll divide it by the rate for group Y and that'll produce our ratio. And so this is the sort of working definition of ratio that we're going to use here. And I'll go through an example using uh, our, our sales database uh, type of data here. So we have data on, let's say, sales to men and women in our store. And let's say that we know that for males, the purchase rate is 24 per 100. So for every 100 males that walk into our store, 24 of them will buy something. And for females, the purchase rate is 18 per 100. Okay, so we have these both standardized per 100 people. And so we have 18 females for every 100 that come into our store that purchase something. Okay, now what we want to do is we want to create the ratio. And the ratio that I want to create is going to be the ratio of males to females. Okay, so what I want to know is uh, for every female that makes a purchase, how many males are going to make a purchase? or How much more likely is a male to make a purchase if a female makes a purchase? So to do this, just divide the rate for males by the rate for females. So 24 divided by 18 and we come up with a ratio of 1.33. 1.33. So what this is saying then is that males are 1.33 times more likely to buy. one point three three times more likely to buy than females and so this ends up being our ratio of male purchases to female purchases so for every female purchase that's made we get one point three three male purchases